Hi guys, it's Kirsten from Lambie's Nursery here and I did a nursery tour recently and a lot of people were like, wow, I love your nursery. I wish I could afford to do that. And I wanna let you guys on a little bitty bitty secret. It did not cost me very much at all to put together my nursery. And I'm gonna let you guys in on those secrets. Let's get started. So I love yard sales. I think yard sales and Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist are the coolest things known to man. I absolutely love them and I'm always frequenting them. I'm always checking out what's available and getting what I love. But sometimes I don't even buy things at yard sales. Sometimes there, there are people who will leave their things out on the road and just put a sign on them that says free. They don't want it anymore. They don't want to deal with selling it. They just throw it out and it's perfectly usable. That's how I got this chair right here. Um, I've been using this rocking chair since 2018. So five years now I've had it and it has been great for videos, great for sitting in here and relaxing. And I got it for completely free. Same story over here with this little bassinet. I still even have the, um, yeah, it still says free on it. I never took this piece of paper off. I just got it like two weeks ago and the lady was outside putting it on her curb. And I even asked her, I was like, I have money in my pocket. Are you sure you don't want any money for this? It is absolutely beautiful. And she was like, no, take it. I don't want to deal with selling it. And it's missing a few things. So she was like, just take it. So I did. It's free. Um, I also love thrift stores. Did I mention that? Um, thrift stores are an amazing place to get great deals. And this bouncer came from a thrift store. Um, my crib over here, I bought this at a yard sale. This beautiful crib and it's a rocking crib. Can you guys see that? It has all these beautiful details. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I was able to get it at a yard sale. Um, this, a lot of people ask about the moon cradle and it is the one thing in my nursery that I didn't find somewhere special. Well, I did actually. I found it in my husband. I love him so, so much. He is an amazing craftsman. He built this all from wood with his own hands. So he handmade all of this and painted it. And on Facebook Marketplace, you can find a lot of people who are just starting out learning their craft, whether that be woodworksmanship or whatever, and they'll sell them on Facebook Marketplace. He actually has two moon cradles he wants to sell, but he doesn't know how to like ship them to people because they are rather big and heavy and that's hard to ship and people have to pay for shipping. So we're trying to figure out how what to do with those. Anyways, all the little decorations I have in my nursery too. All of these, um, some are gifts from a friend. Like this is from my friend, Holly. She made it for me. But a lot of these things, I just find them on clearance or places like Ross, Marshalls, fun places like that. And I just use these little things to decorate. And I got this table from Ross, the flowers. Most of this is from Ross actually. Um, my giant tree is from Amazon, my light up tree. Same with this tent. I don't remember what I looked up to get either of those, but I was able to get them on Amazon. And I think out of everything in my nursery, those are the only things I actually bought from somewhere. Um, the little play yard, same as the rocking chair. I found someone throwing it away. So I asked him, <laughs> what was wrong with it and they were just like um don't need it anymore no more babies and don't want to go through the hassle of selling it so I grabbed it same with the bouncer that one was actually missing pieces they didn't want it anymore it didn't work I think it used to play music and this I got from my parents the old vintage um stroller excuse the lamp over by it but my parents found it at a like a vintage auction by their house and didn't pay very much money for it because it's a child stroller. I'm not very tall and it takes a little bit of work for me to get down here and push it. But yeah, that's how I've been able to get this nursery is 
just by waiting and watching for deals at yard sales, in my local area, thrift stores, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are looking to build a nursery, I wish you all the luck in the world. It does not have to be expensive. You can do this. I love you guys. Please stay safe out there. And remember, you matter. And I love you so, so much.